Hey guys, it's James here for Army Bass Guitar, and today is all about bass guitar strings. So, shortly coming up, Harvey, my videographer, is coming over, and we're going to be recording some slap bass tutorials. So, I thought this would be a cool moment to change my guitar strings. So, freshly through the post is a set of these bad boys. I love these strings, they're really cool. However, it's been a while since I've changed my strings, so what I thought would be really, really cool to do is do a before and after. One of the questions I get so much is about bass guitar strings. Well, should I do flat wounds? How often should I change them? Round wounds? What gauge? Etc, etc. So I want to share with you what I do and the strings I, I use. Hello. And check out who's come to say hello. So what I want to do is share with you my approach to bass guitar strings and tell you how often I change them. I'm going to give you a clue, it's not very regularly, so I'm really, really curious to see what this before and after string change is going to sound like. We're going to record it properly so you can really, really hear the difference. I'd love you to comment below and let me know which ones do you like. Do you like the sound of the old strings or do you like the sound of the new strings? What's your vibe when it comes to bass guitar strings? Anyway, let's crack on with this. First of all, I need a coffee again. Then we're going to go upstairs. We're going to change the strings. I'm going to take you inside how I do a string change. Coffee and bass guitar strings in hand. Let's take you up to E Bass Guitar HQ. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an empty project in Logic Studio so you can check out exactly what's going to go on. It's going to be absolutely no tricks or anything like that, just straight audio into the computer so you can really hear what the bass guitar sounds like. So guys, here you have it. These are the old Elixir strings that I've had now on my bass for a little while. So let's just do a bit of finger style to see what this sounds like. So you can hear that nice and warm in my opinion. I quite like it. But let's do some slap to see what this sounds like. So there you heard it, let's now try and do a string change live on YouTube. So here's how I change shed of strings, there are loads of ways to do this but the one set of tools that I think you will need is a decent pair of wire cutters. So let's just take the strings off one at a time on the bass. I'm very aware that um, some guys will change all four at one time and have the bass without strings on. I think from my days of playing guitar I always did them one by one. So literally unravel the string like so and then put it back through the hole. Then we will grab our strings, open them up. Always exciting getting a new set of strings out. Now, just make sure you're getting the right one. I've done this a few too many times where I've got to open up the wrong one, put it on the wrong string. So easily done. So what we have is we have here 45 to uh, 105. So these are just straight medium gauge round wound strings. So let's start off. I tend to always start with the E. Don't know why, but it works. Then all I do, feed the string through here. I know they're like, there are a ton of techniques now of how to do strings at this at the end of the bass. All I do is I literally trim the string down. Um, I tend to leave about four or five inches on the beyond where the actual peg goes, like so. Make a cut, and that just gets rid of the stuff that I don't need. So then, while I've got the cut like that. Here's the technique that I've got, that all I do is I just literally bend it round. You might, might need uh, pliers to do this. And literally put a bend in like so. Can you see? Can you see that bend? That's the one which, let's get it in focus. All we do is take that end like so, stick it in the hole. Wrap it round here once, like so. Now here's my ninja little trick, is that I always 
push it against the wood. That means it's just going to wind around the neck properly like so. So let's move that up like there and then we just slowly tighten. There's a point where you can just let it go because it's being held nicely. Cross the nut like so. Then once I've got the string attention, all I do is literally just use the harmonics just to roughly tune it in because theoretically the A string should be just where it was before. Then all it, gives, all it is exactly the same process again with the A string. Let's just start winding. So again, here we go. Measure out about four or five inches on top of there, something like that. Just trim off the slack that you don't need. Okay. Just give it a little tune with harmonics. A bit of a pull like that because they're just getting used to their new tension like so. It's good to stretch strings out a little bit. Off with the D string. Sixty-five, D string. Let's do this. With this one, you could probably actually get away with actually winding the whole lot, but just to keep it consistent, I'm gonna cut off a couple of inches at the top. More winding than I remember here. So then, let's just put it roughly into chin. Give it a little bit of a stretch too. Now, off with a G-string. Right round once. Of course, and then down. Then under the string tree, and then across the nut, and just to tighten up the rest of it. Brand new set of elixir strings on there. All I'm going to do now is grab the trusty snark out and literally pull this 100% into tune now. F sharp, all the way up to a G. Give it a little bit of a pull. Might take a little while just to settle down 100% with a new set of strings. But with a bass, it's normally pretty fast. Up to a D. I seem to have managed to tune it all about a half step out, but that doesn't really matter. And then. Guys, let's do a bit of a test now, and please do comment in the comments below whether you like the sound of the new strings or the old strings. So here goes, this is some finger style using brand new set of Elixir strings. Let's play a little bit of slap. So guys, as you can see, the strings do have completely two different kind of uh, feels to them. There's an older, kind of woollier type retro sound, and then there's the more modern kind of funky thing. We're recording some slap when Harvey comes over in a bit, so I thought it'd be cool to change the strings. It's been a bit of a while. Um, to explain, I use the elixirs. I'm not endorsed particularly by them or anything. I just think they're great strings and they last a long time. Also, my choice of strings comes from the fact that I'm not very sweaty. I really don't have to wipe down strings very much or anything like that for whatever reason I don't sweat. So if I put that together with a set of long life strings like the Elixirs which have this coat on, I know the coat isn't to everybody's taste. So I just say try it and see what works for you. Um, 
that's why I can get away with a set of strings probably now for about a year. I've just looked up the date and to be honest I changed them at the beginning of March last year so they've been on there quite a while done a load of gigs that's what works for me what I encourage you to do with strings is just experiment have some fun see what you like there's not too much you can go wrong with them remember if you've got an old set you can boil them up if you really like that new sound that's a technique and trick that I used to do about 20 odd years ago if you want to get a bit more life into them a good set of strings will inspire you and if you like that bright sound do of course keep changing them regularly make sure you get that beautiful sustain that new strings put in there so again please do comment below to tell me which ones you liked where you're an older warmer kind of guy or would you like that new strings that kind of marking kind of thing I remember seeing him about 10-15 years ago do string changes mid set which is always pretty cool so tell me what you liked if you've enjoyed this video please do like and share below um we're going to get down to filming some youtube videos shortly so i will see you then again comment and let us know what strings you use what are your favorite kind of strings again that is it i'll catch you later i've been james from ebassguitar.com and i will see you next time catch you later Bye bye